The next thing I want to do in this section is I'm going to show you what else I can do with this specific newsletter. So something I do with the newsletter every week that's very time consuming is I actually generate the newsletter for different places. So I cross post this on LinkedIn. I also cross post the newsletter on GitHub as well. We have a GitHub repo for this. And there's a lot of researchers that prefer the GitHub repo. It's much cleaner and they like the formatting there and so on. So I'm going to show you first the GitHub repo. And then what I'm going to tell you is what is the problem that we're trying to solve and how we will use Notebook LM for it. So we are in the ML Papers of the Week GitHub repo. This is under our organization, dear.ai. And here we highlight, again, the top ML papers every week. And this is a very popular GitHub repo. It has 10K stars. And there's a lot of people that actually prefer to consume the newsletter in this format. So as an additional service, we try to update the repo and keep it updated as much as possible. But it's a very time consuming process, I must say. And right now we haven't really spent the time to automate this, although we probably can automate this process of just extracting the information from the original Substack newsletter and then just sending a pull request here. That's something that we can probably do. But I actually wanted to use Notebook LM for this because while I can use an agent for that, I prefer to do this as a manual process because that way I'm sure that what I'm putting here is the actual thing that is in the newsletter, the actual content. That's really important for me, especially because of the kind of content that I'm posting here. So for every week, again, we're listing all the papers. So let's say we go to September 23 to September 29th. That was the issue that we did last week. You can see here that we have all the papers and it's formatted nicely. So this is markdown format. So if I click on the edit button, you will see that it's written as a markdown format. You can see the formatting here. So the task that I'm interested in using Notebook LM for is to convert that Substack newsletter issue into this format. And so the question is, can Notebook LM actually do this for me? If it can, then it basically saves me from doing this work manually because currently how I do it is I copy over the explanation of the paper, I have to do the little editing here as well, the formatting, then I have to paste the links. It, it takes a bit of time. It almost takes like 10 to 15 minutes. And in fact, I think Notebook LM can do this 10 times faster than the time I actually spent to do this these days. So that's the task here. And so I'm going to show you how I can do that with Notebook LM now. So something Notebook LM is really good at, I am noticing from all my experimentation recently, is that it can be used to convert certain formats into other formats. So I have this website and I have my newsletter that's basically like listicles of these top papers, but it's formatted in a very specific way. And what I want to do now is to convert this format here into the markdown format that I showed you in my GitHub repo. And the whole mission here is to take this one and convert it into markdown that I can copy and then paste back into my GitHub repo. And that process should be like really fast, should be less than a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the chat feature for this. So I'm gonna go here in chat, the sources are already selected. So this is the only source I'm using. And then here I am gonna prompt the system to generate something in Markdown format. So I'm gonna say, generate the papers in, uh, in Markdown format, use the following format. And I have a format that I'm using. All this information I'm gonna provide below this video, just in case you want to reproduce what I'm doing here. In fact, I would encourage you to pause the video every now and then to reproduce the examples that I'm showing you throughout the course. Okay, so I pasted the format. This is the format that I'll be using here or I, that I want the system to follow. And again, I'm converting to different formats. That's pretty useful. So for this one, I haven't been able to do this using other 
systems like ChatGPT or Cloud, which are systems that I use a lot. Like those are products that I use pretty much every day now. And the reason is because they don't have the scraping functionality. Like they don't have the ability to scrape information like this, like Notebook LM is doing. And because Notebook LM has this as context and it has preserved the links and all of that information, it should be able to convert that into this format. And that's basically the task that I'm giving it. So I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna hit enter. And so now it's generating something. So basically I just gave it the structure that I want and it should be in markdown format, something that I can go and paste directly in my GitHub repo. Well, you may be thinking, okay, so this is just for a specific GitHub repo. No, in fact, you can use it for any kind of formatting that you may want. You may have like a table or any type of format that you may be interested for your domain and use case. So here you go it's directly converted into a table. And this is now something that I can go and directly paste into GitHub. So I can go and copy this and I can go and directly paste it. I can actually save this as a note as well. Save this as a note and you will see that it's saved as a note. Now I know that the links are working because you can see the links there. And now I'm just ready to go and paste this inside of my GitHub repo and it works. I've tested it already, it works brilliant. I really like the fact that these LLMs are really good at converting data into different formats. That's really powerful as you can see in this case, I do use it for my newsletter because I cross post to different places. This really reduces the amount of work that I do for my newsletter and I'm excited to keep using it and I've tested it so many times and it works flawlessly.